Barrel aged, high proof, single malt, whatever you're looking for in a scotch whiskey, we've got a recommendation for this timeless spirit. Stay tuned to see the best of the best of the scotch world in 2022. Also known as King of Isla, the Lagavulin 16-year-old Scotch whiskey is the distillery's quote, fiercest scotch. And tell our enemies that they can take your lives, but they can never take our peace! While the single malt might be a little intimidating for newbies, it's hailed as a must-try by whiskey connoisseurs. Aged for a minimum of 16 years in oak casks, this whiskey's most distinguishing characteristic is its peat smoke flavor, a well-known characteristic of Southern Isla. Initially released in the 1990s as a limited edition, the Lagavulin 16-year earned its spot in the distillery's celebrated range due to its overwhelming popularity. However, while adored by many, the bottle is not for the faint-hearted. It carries a variety of truly bold flavors, including tobacco, vanilla, and sherry. It also boasts a thick mouthfeel and a hint of sherry. You can purchase the Lagavulin 16-year Scotch whiskey starting at just under $110 from Drizzly. The Glenolucky Distillery refers to its Speyside single malt 12-year-old Scotch whiskey as the heart of its range, and for good reason. Opened in 1967, for decades the distillery only produced whiskey for blending. Then in 2017, the facility was purchased by private investors, who created this very unique whiskey, propelling the distillery to its current glory. Though it hasn't officially been confirmed by the brand, some suspect that the 12-year-old single malt is matured in a combination of virgin American white oak casks, Pedro Jimenez and Oloroso sherry casks, and first and second fill bourbon casks. However, we do know that the whiskey contains old expressions from when Glenelucky reopened in 1989, after it was purchased by Invergordon Distillers. The result is a light mahogany liquor with a nose of dried fruit, demerara sugar, candied orange peel, and nuts. In flavor, the medium-bodied offering features notes of oats, marmalade, oak, and toffee, as well as cinnamon and cloves. The medium finale completes the balanced picture with hints of barley, toasted oak, and white pepper. You can purchase the Glenelucky Speyside Single Malt 12-Year-Old Scotch Whiskey from Drizzly starting at $70. Owned by the same family for five generations, the Glen Farkless Distillery specializes in producing traditional Highland single malt scotch whiskies. The Glen Farkless 25-year-old scotch whiskey is one of the distillery's space ciders. Aged in first fill Oloroso sherry casks, this delicately sherried whiskey is so rich in flavor that it can easily replace a dessert. The award-winning amber liquor comes with aromas of marmalade, coffee, honey, sherry, and nuts, as well as hints of oaky tannins. Expect a full-bodied and robust palate with notes of both sherry and oak. The intense and long finish is dry and malty, with a pleasant aftertaste of dark chocolate. While some have commented that the Glen Farkless 15-year might be a better value bottle than its older counterpart, the balance of the 25-year helps it win through. One reviewer described it as, so smooth it can be imbibed without a drop of water. You can purchase the Glen Farkless 25-year-old Scotch whiskey from Drizzly starting at $200. The largest of Scotland's whiskey regions, the Highlands, are made up of coastline, mountains, and moors. With such a diverse landscape, it's not surprising that the region's whiskey offerings are also quite vast. The Glenmorangie Nectar Door is one of the most pleasant of these offerings. Aged in American oak bourbon casks for 10 years and then finished for two years in Sauternes, or white dessert wine casks, the whiskey's aroma and flavor bring to mind the sweet offerings of a French patisserie. Nectar d'Or translates to golden nectar, accounting for the liquor's deep gold color. As bold and sweet as the rich color implies, there are notes of honey, vanilla, raisins, lime, and cinnamon featured in the whiskey's subtle aroma. The flavor evokes hints of caramel, raisins, gingerbread, and creme on the middle palate, orange zest on the roof of the mouth, and sugar-covered almonds at the back of the palate. Finally, the medium finish balances the placid notes of apple blossom, honey, lemon, and caramel. You can purchase the Glenmorangie Nectar Door Scotch Whiskey from Drizzly starting at $80. Scotland's lush lowlands deliver smooth malts light enough to be enjoyed before dinner. Fresh, fruity, and smooth, the Alkintoshin Three Wood Single Malt Whiskey is no exception. One Drizzly reviewer notes that the pour's gentle profile makes a great starter whiskey, writing, I'm a newbie to scotch, but out of everything I've tried over the last year and a half, this is the best. Very smooth, especially when the ice melts just a tiny bit. As its name suggests, the Akintoshin Three Wood Single Malt Whiskey gets its characteristics from three different types of casks. 
American Bourbon, Spanish Oloroso Sherry, and Pedro Jimenez Sherry. While the whiskey doesn't come with an age statement, the Scotch noob suggests that it spends around 10 years in bourbon casks, then the next two years in the two sherry casks. The triple distillation process is somewhat unusual for Scotland, where whiskey is usually only distilled twice. So what is the end result? On the nose, the Auchentotian 3 wood is all about sherry with hints of dried fruit, cranberry, and caramelized sugar. On the palate, the full-bodied pour features notes of figs, dark chocolate, hazelnuts, and balsamic reduction. Finally, the short finish is nutty with flavors of molasses, plums, dried fruit, and mint. You can purchase the Auchentotian 3 wood scotch whiskey from Drizzly starting at $82. Well known for its fiery, peated whiskies, the small island of Isla is home to 3,000 residents and nine distilleries, including Brook Lottie. The distillers there are the masterminds behind the Brook Lottie Port Charlotte 10. Committed to making its whiskey as true to Isla as possible, the distillery not only sources all its malt and peat on the island, but also uses Isla spring water in the production process. While other Isla distilleries outsource some tasks to facilities on the mainland, Brook Lottie distills, matures, and bottles its whiskies on the island. Named after a town on Isla, the Brook Lottie Port Charlotte 10 scores high on the peat level, with a phenol measurement of 40 ppm. Still, the pour doesn't taste as peaty as the numbers would indicate. Instead, the smokiness presents as quite subtle. While the smoke is discernible, it's well balanced with the sweetness drawn from the oak barrels. You can purchase the Brook Lottie Port Charlotte 10 Scotch Whiskey from Drizzly starting at $75. Unlike most other Scotch whiskies, the Compass Box Hedonism isn't made with any malt. Instead, it's a blended grain whiskey that combines long-aged single-grain whiskies from reputable distilleries such as Cameron Bridge and Canvas. However, Scotch Noob notes that this doesn't mean you should pass judgment just yet, even if the technique is notoriously used for lower shelf whiskies. Since the Compass Box Hedonism is produced once or twice per year out of different combinations and quantities of whiskies, every batch is bound to be at least slightly different. While you can just about always expect quality, there are no batch numbers on the bottles to tell you exactly what you are drinking. What you can expect, however, is a whiskey that's lighter and creamier than most single malts, and features notes of vanilla, caramel, and fruit. You can purchase the Compass Box Hedonism Scotch Whiskey from Drizzly starting at $120. Priced at around $40, the Deanston Virgin Oak is smooth, sweet, and generally easygoing. In character with its affordable price, it is a young whiskey. I got some scotch. Single malt? Aged 18 years. The way I like it. However, while the youth doesn't necessarily show with each sip, it's not a bad thing when it does. It has a surprisingly fresh and well-balanced finish. Aged in bourbon casks from Kentucky and refined in virgin oak, the Deanston Virgin Oak is a simple whiskey with a nose of wood spices, nutmeg, vanilla caramel, banana, honey, and leather. The full-bodied flavor is both sweet and subtly spicy with hints of fruit, nuts, vanilla, and cotton candy. Meanwhile, the finale is accented by nuts, cereal, and smoke. According to the whiskey jug, the Deanston Virgin Oak gains a lot during the oxidation process, so it pays to let the whiskey sit for a couple of weeks after opening. You can purchase the Deanston Virgin Oak Scotch Whiskey from Drizzly starting at $38. The Nickmean Organic Single Malt Scotch Whiskey is not just certified organic, but also comes with a minimal carbon footprint, making it great for both the taste buds and the environmentally conscious soul. What's more, the liquor is produced in a carbon-neutral distillery and packaged in 100% post-consumer recycled glass. The cork stoppers combine natural cork and wood, the tamper is made from renewable sourced wood pulp extracts, and the cardboard gift tube is 90% recyclable. Last, but certainly not least, the Nicknean distillery is powered by renewable energy. But what about the whiskey itself? Aged for a minimum of three years, the Nicknean Organic Single Malt Whiskey gets its flavor from bourbon casks and treated STR, shaved, toasted, and recharred red wine barrels. On the nose, the pour is rich in lemon oil, nectarines, and fudge. The creamy palate is packed with spice and hints of lemon, ginger, peach, coconut, and rye. The experience ends with a medium spicy finish with a subtle mint prickle. You can purchase the Nicknean Organic Single Malt Scotch Whiskey from the brand's website starting at $70. 
Retailing at around $240, Glenmorangie Signet Scotch Whiskey is one of those varieties you might want to hold on to for special occasions. If you are happy to spend over $200 on a bottle of whiskey, however, this is your bottle. Distilled once a year in the tallest malt whiskey stills in the country, the pour has no age statement. However, according to Ape to Gentlemen, it's matured for around 21 years. For that time, the Highland whiskey is housed in a variety of casks, bourbon for creaminess, sherry for sweetness, and virgin charred oak for spiciness. Glenmorangie Signet delivers an explosion of flavors inspired by Italian coffee bars. Expect notes of mocha, spice, and dark chocolate, all balanced by velvety butterscotch. The full-bodied whiskey features a long, fruity finish with hints of cocoa, roasted malt, and powdered sugar. You can purchase the Glenmorangie Signet Scotch Whiskey from Drizzly starting at $240. While whiskey is typically bottled at either 40 or 43% alcohol by volume, this is by no means a requirement. In fact, it's not unusual for Scotch whiskey to reach heights such as 57% ABV, the Ardbeg Co Reeve Reckon is one such whiskey at 57.1% ABV, or 114.2 proof. The Rich Amber Pour is one of the strongest Scotch whiskies on the market. Named after a whirlpool in the north of Isla, Ardbeg Co Reeve Reckon is described by the distillery as not for the faint hearted. Good, isn't it? While we know that Ardbeg Corrie Vrecken is high proof, its composition remains a mystery. The distillery hasn't disclosed the whiskey's age statement or the type of casks it is matured in. However, Whiskey Watch makes an educated guess that the pour is aged in bourbon oak and French oak casks. Bold and big, Ardbeg Corrie Vrecken's dense nose is characterized by peat smoke, lemon, peach, oak, tar, and seaweed. The whiskey's multi-layered flavor is also rich in earthy peat smoke, as well as chocolate malt, oak, orange, peach, cinnamon, and nutmeg. The long and powerful fade exudes dark chocolate, peat smoke, dried fruit, wood shavings, and cinnamon. You can purchase the Ardbeg Corrie Vrecken Scotch Whiskey from Drizzly starting at $100. One of the biggest names in the industry, the first Chivas Regal blend was released way back in 1909. The 25-year-old whiskey quickly became a hit with well-heeled whiskey lovers. Hampered by prohibition, Chivas Regal made a comeback with its 12-year blend in 1938. According to the historic collection, the Chivas Regal 18-year-old Scotch whiskey was released in 1997. The pour blends 20 malt and grain whiskies to deliver 85 unique flavors. The star of the show is a Speyside malt from Strathyla, a distillery purchased by the Chivas brothers in 1950. The malt is produced exclusively for this whiskey. Deep and complex, Chivas Regal 18-year-old is both a smooth sipper and a great addition to cocktails. Once poured, you can expect rich aromas of dried fruit, dark chocolate, and buttery toffee. The multi-layered palette exhibits dark chocolate with floral and smoky notes. Finally, the whiskey's finish is both long and warm. According to Drizzly Reviews, this impressive blended scotch might just turn an occasional sipper into a full-blown professional quaffer. You can purchase the Chivas Regal 18-year-old scotch whiskey from Drizzly starting at $85. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more matched videos ranking your favorite products are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.